we went in the safe room at uh, 6 30 in the morning and uh, we waited around nine o'clock the terrorists came came in the house and around 11 o'clock they just burned the house and they want us to come out because of the smoke and just held the door like this like this and they tried to you know open it and we're doing like that and then one guy i heard him go back three shots at the door it was i was lucky because if he was shooting at the door I wasn't standing here. I mean, I probably would die. And then they tried again. I held it and they just set the house on fire. I mean, a lot of smoke came in, you can see here. Because the door wasn't locked, the smoke came in, came in the safe room. Now over there, you can see, I tried to open a hole with the, with this stick, so we can breathe through there. And my wife uh, didn't feel well, so we opened the, the window something like five centimeters so so air can come in and every time i heard something i closed it back and locked it and again i don't know maybe five six times like this yeah i i said goodbye to my wife and kids well, uh, not like not in front of them but inside I said goodbye, I was sure we're gonna die. I mean... Your children? The oldest is 12. So and, understood very And well. the small one is almost eight. So they understood and everything, I mean... They knew we're, we're in a bad situation. And... The middle one told my wife uh, Ima, just open the door, let them kill us, and that's it. I mean, I want to get over it, over with it. Like, let us kill, let us, let them kill us, and, and that's it. So we won't suffer. We have 400 people in the community and 100 murdered or kidnapped or both we still have people in gaza and we still live in october 7 i mean the the time is moving but for us we're still there because we have friends and family over there i just want my friends come back from there and then we can maybe start our life again.